Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Wild Card Wednesday, so you guys already know the deal with this stuff. Still have been holding out hope that eventually they would make this a diverse, more, more diverse promo in the sense where we get multiple things per day instead of like five or something. We get like one of each little promo. Not there, clearly. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get to that point, although I do hope we will. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, guys, if you want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on the noti bell. Now, for today's shout-out, shout-out to Garrett Lean for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much, man, for showing support each and every video. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. And if you guys do want to pick up any of the new heavyweight cards today for Wild Card Wednesday, make sure you go down below. And of course, heading over to Mutt Reserve, they will have the cards directly on there, as well as training, and as well as be able to get the coins for them. Everything's discounted. Make sure you use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Now, see if we can pull anything out of these. I always hold that hope that these packs are going to be anything. They're really just binder fills at this point, for the most part, I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I have seen some people pull some heat out of them, so you know, it's always possible. So let's see, we got a few more in here. Nothing, but my binder has been really filled up from all this like it fills it up a lot now Let's get it over. So for these store packs remember the overalls have one up to I believe 90 now So that does make the pack more worth now because 89 to 90 so there's more of a reroll opportunity there No, I'm not the I'm not much of a reroll guru myself. So I mean if it's worth it I'm probably not the guy to tell you about that, but Again, it is cool that it does include 90s now because that does mean you know There's, there's more variability to it. It kind of sucks. It was just 89. It's like, you know You're getting one of the other ones and the packs like like it, the training value of it goes for less than what you're going to get from it. And you get only these amount of cards and they, none of them vary at all. So it was kind of annoying to do that. Over to the heavyweights and go check out all the stuff in this, obviously. Now, the thing with the new heavyweights are, they're always going to be what they are, right? They're the, big guys in, they're the big guys in the trenches, but they're really good. Like, these cards are usually typically really good. Especially early in the year, guys, heavyweights are typically a very good value. They're typically on the cheaper side of things. They're lower in training costs, of course. And they are just good stats because especially when you get these linemen, like these linemen are going to be great. Now, let's start out by newest real quick and check out some of the newer ones. So as you can see, they are hitting the block pretty fast. Guys, okay, so this is going to be the most feared hint that I do want to mention real quick before we get into everything else. So this was the hint yesterday. It was on the home screen of the Madden when you looked into it. So as you can see, if you look close into things, you might see a hint somewhere that I'm not seeing here. There's symbols up here, of course. Um, crab looking symbols. Some people said it looks kind of like Alvin Kamara, which I actually kind of see it with the nose ring and the hair. But there's plenty of stuff going on here. I do think it's a really cool intro screen. I wish there was a little bit more info we've got. I mean, it's the 21st and we haven't got most fear now. But I don't understand this isn't like these, these seasonal promos supposed to be like for the season, not the last four days before the, you know what I'm saying? Like it didn't make too much sense to me. I like the way they, they usually have done it, but it is what it is, I guess. At least we know we're getting it pretty soon. At this point, it says coming this weekend. So we'll probably get it, I'd imagine Friday. Friday's probably the day we'll get it. It, it has to be maybe Thursday. But it's better for that. Let's get into the rest of the video. So let's start with Kenny Clark right here. 130K, guys. This is going to be super cheap. Kenny Clark, 67 speed, 79 excel, 91 strength, 87 tackle, 90 play rec, 90 block shed, 87 power movement, 69 finesse movement. He's actually pretty good. Despite the lack of athleticism and everything, of course, he does have the block shedding 90 threshold as well as his power move is right there. If you can get pass rush on him and get it to a 90, he will be a dual threat use at defensive tackle, being able to run stop and pass rush now. In my opinion, is that the best defensive tackle in the game? Probably not. But at all, like I said, for the price, it is definitely worth the price. Because again, you're going to need these for super cheap. Heavyweights are going to always maintain a pretty low price for the most part. And they're going to go down pretty fast. So I wouldn't even buy them right away. You could probably get them for even cheaper as time goes on. Now, Demarcus Lawrence could be really good. Demarcus Lawrence cards typically are good when they do drop. So 79 speed, 86 excel, good athleticism, 85 strength, 84 tackle, 89 play rec, 86 block shed, 87 power movement, 92 finesse. So he's a great great finesse move guy and the issue is going to be that block shed so for me the only way this card ends up being like a good good card for me you got to put run stopper on it and then you got to uh, power him up of course now if you do power him up or if you okay if you power him up put pass rush and everything you probably get him up to like a 96 97 power finesse move which is pretty crazy he's gonna be a crazy uh, finesse move rusher with speed but if you want a more of a dual threat like multi-use end i think you got to go run stop right you need that 90 block shed to combine with that 92 93 finesse move so you're able to actually go ahead and use him every day we're in the field because again with a lot of ends right now you're going to be able to get that out of them like even like Rick, ricky he's able to get multiple multiple stuff as well and on to the next we got patrick ricard fullback for the ravens he's probably gonna be pretty good as well 77 speed's decent i mean for a lead block it's faster than a lot of fullbacks which again you probably want more of like an 80 anyways but 
We're just going to do 87 strength, 90 awareness, 86 carrying, 68 catching, 87 run block, 93 lead block, 92 impact block. Guys, he's great. If you can put, if you can put zone run on him and get his uh, running block and you power him up to a 90, he'll have 90 run blocking, like 94, 95 lead blocking, 94, 95 impact blocking. He's going to be a crazy good blocker. He's going to be great on lead blocks. Great, great on lead blocks. Great on pitches. He's going to be great in a lot of stuff as long as he can get out ahead. I don't know how the 77 speed's going to feel uh, for a lead block, but it should be good enough because, I mean, you know, linemen get there with much lower speed. So I think it could work, but that remains to be seen. Next, we got Grady Jared right here. I was kind of excited to see this card. I feel like this one would be really good. And it is 67 speed, 81 excel, 85 strength, 89 tackle, 90 play rec, 88 block, 92 power move, 77 finesse move. So what we got to do with Grady Jarrett, what we're going to do is put on run stop. If you put run stopper on him plus power up, he will get above a 90 block shed. And he already has, will have a 93 ball power move. So you're going to be able to be a top pass rusher and a top run stopper with him as well. I think Grady Jarrett's actually pretty good because he doesn't take much to get him. Probably like a tier one run stop is really all you need. Now, the athleticism is decent for defensive tackle. But if you, if you think it's a run down, you can put him in because, of course, you think he'll stop the run. And, of course, if it's a pass, then he can still pass rush. That's the beauty of these guys. You don't got to be so careful about, oh, man, they're passing. He's never going to get pressure. He still can. He has the threshold. And, he, of course, you can put abilities on him as well. Grady Jarrett is not bad at all. Um, so far, most of these cards have been good. It's just they're, they're, they're like crazy slow. But again, those are defensive tackles. It's kind of going to be the deal with them as per usual. I was kind of hoping we would see a Chris Jones today, or probably most fear, but Chris Jones would have been a nice, nice heavyweight. He's good at both. He run, He's a pass rusher, and he runs stuff very, very well. But Chris Jones, not bad. Of course, if they're all 90s, they can get powered up to 91. So that's, of course, going to be super useful as well. And let's see, we got one last one, I believe. Unless we covered all of them, we got we covered, covered Grady Jarrett. We covered Kenny Clark, we covered Demarcus Lawrence, we covered Patrick Ricard, and Jarrell Casey is going to be our last one for the Broncos. Looks like a chunky Von Miller, to be quite honest with you guys. 69 speed, 78 excel, 90 strength, 90 tackle, 92 play rec, 90 block shit, 79 power move, and 86 finesse move. Now, the pass rushing is very, very low. So, again, you're going to have to power him up, but he has, to, he has to put pass rusher on him. He's got to get to that 90 finesse move. If he can get the 90 finesse move, with a 90 block shed, he's at least usable with 90 strength, 90 tackle, 92 play rec. But I don't think that he's a great end because of how low his pass rushing is. But I think he will be usable if you end up going that route of powering him up and getting everything on him. Now, is he one of the greatest out of the ones I've seen? Probably not. I'm going to go out of this now and I'm going to rank him for you guys out of the ones I think are the best to worst. Now, let's see. So let's filter these out. Again, my newest. Can we filter out to 90 to 91 real quick so we can get those out of there? Okay, so... The worst one here is probably Jarrell Casey. I'm going to have to go with Jarrell Casey just because of how bad of a pass rusher he is. And honestly, for an end, that speed, just not, it's not going to not gonna cut it. He's last. Next on the list, I'm probably going to go... So, between Kenny Clark and Grady Jarrett, I think I think it's going to go Kenny Clark next, right? Because Kenny Clark... Grady Jarrett's better than him in general because he can get closer to pass rushing and that. So, let's make sure... Okay, so I'm going to go Kenny Clark. Right, Jarrell Casey, Kenny Clark... Then I'm going to go Demarcus Lawrence, because Demarcus Lawrence is a great finesse, ru uh, finesse rusher, but his block shit's way too low. So then I'm going to go Demarcus Lawrence. Then number four, I'm going to go Patrick Ricard. Number one, I'm going to go Grady Jarrett. Now, Patrick Ricard is a great fullback. Honestly, if it wasn't because he was a fullback, he'd probably be number one. But those stats are awesome. Going to be great at blocking, and, you know, running is really great this year again. So definitely great. And then Jarrell, uh, Grady Jarrett's just really good. I think he's the best out of all of them, rushing and block shedding combined. That's kind of what you're worried about here anyways. So pretty much wraps up that. I see what these prices are going like real quick before I do end up closing out this video. 120 guys, not bad. You can probably get it for even cheaper. These are not bad cards at all. Could really fill out a squad with some of these cards. I was kind of hoping we'd get some more offensive linemen versus all defensive linemen, but I guess that's kind of how it was kind of due for that at this point. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, you well boys. Come join the Poodle Squad. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new heavyweights. And of course, if you need coins to pick these guys up or training to do the, the reroll for them, head over to my reserve down below. Take advantage of the cheap and discounted coins training players. And then your solo grinding service. Don't forget about that. As well as that. And then, of course, use code Poodle for 15% off. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.